Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and today I will share my learning about creating static report in ClickView. The static report uh, is very much similar to the PDF reports or the PowerPoint uh, presentations that you have created. Uh, they are like uh, you have the information in several slides or if you are presenting the information in PDF then information is present in the present into different pages for your audience. Creating PDF report in uh, click view is very simple and uh, we will first see a scenario where we need to create a static report for our audience and then we will see how we can create this. So for example we have this uh, revenue versus budget chart in our dashboard and uh, we want this dashboard in a static report by every fiscal year. So we have a uh, fiscal year information presented over here and we want that in one page our 2009 information should come in 2000 in another page 2010 information should come and in 2011 we should have this chart. So in a static report there will be three pages in which uh, the these three information these three years information will be presented all right so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can create it so to create a report in uh, click view you have this report menu where you need to click on the edit reports after you click on the edit report you have this option or this window where uh, available report section is there which shows what are the available reports in click view so currently there is nothing so let's create a new one click on add and we'll give the name as uh, revenue versus budget report click ok and before I click ok there is an option uh, which I should tell you about copy copying pages from other reports so if you have other reports and you want to copy the pages from other report you can enable this option and utilizes other report so for now we do not have any report we will uncheck this and click OK after we click OK we highlight this report by clicking on it and uh, go to edit once we are in edit mode uh, we need to drag this chart into this report which is in edit mode so for now we will first uh, drag this chart and position it properly after this uh, let's create a text of a revenue versus budget by clicking on this plus icon as we left click on this it will give us an option like new we want to create a new image new text or new current selection so for now we will go with the new text and uh, let's say the name of the chart is same as revenue versus budget and uh, let's set its font as size 16 click OK so our revenue versus budget text is here for this chart all right so this is so far done with uh, we have the chart in the report we have this revenue versus budget title now let's uh, quickly do one more thing that uh, we want to have this chart by every uh, year so for now we need to iterate it on a fiscal year field so to iterate this chart over a fiscal year field we need to go into reports go to report settings and we have this selections tab under which uh, we have this option called loop report over possible values in the field so we enable this open it and choose the fiscal year field let's say we have this fiscal year okay so now our chart will be looped over the fiscal year so let's go ahead and see how our chart will look like 
uh, when we will print it so we click OK we will again go to report now you see this revenue versus budget report is coming for us we click on this and uh, go to print preview and uh, this is how our report is coming which is not very good because colors are not coming properly and uh, so we'll just close this for now and cancel this also and uh, change our report properties so that color should come properly as it is coming over here so we will again go to reports go to edit report and uh, by selecting this we go to edit and now we will go into the settings of this chart which is item settings by right clicking on it we have this general tab and we go into the properties of this chart and these properties are similar to the properties we have uh, the chart in the front-end dashboard so whatever changes we will make it over here that will affect that chart also that is present in the dashboard so to have the colors over in this chart uh, we need to go in this colors tab and here is a small trick like uh, we need to uncheck this option which says use patterns instead of colors so that black and white pattern was coming in instead of colors and it was enabled on when we print this so after unchecking this we should have the colors available in the report while printing it so we click ok we click ok this and you see this our colors are coming properly now all right so we click ok and uh, before i run the report again uh, and just need to make sure that we should uh, clear all of these selections so I'll just click on the clear selection and uh, now again let's print our chart print our report by going into this report option and click on the revenue versus budget and uh, now let's preview our report alright so I think now it is coming properly for us and we go to next page next so you see this we have all the three uh, pages present after removing the selection so if you have the selection like we were having 2011 selected and when I showed you the print preview of earlier chart uh, it was only giving us the first page but not of the rest of the two pages but now after removing the filters it is giving us all the three different charts so in this way you can go ahead and print your chart for all the three different years or uh, you you can also send it to a OneNote 2007 plugin if you have or Microsoft XPS document writer even you can uh, uh, export this chart to a PDF if you have the PDF writer installed in your system uh, but because I do not have so I cannot print it but I will go ahead and show you how we can do it with a Microsoft XPS document writer so we click this and uh, we go ahead and click on print and say revenue versus BUDGT the chart and click on save so we will have our report printed in our revenue versus budget dot XPS which is a uh, component I have for printing the documents but if you have as I said if you have a PDF writer installed in your system then you can go ahead and uh, create the reports in PDF also so you see this uh, how easy it is uh, creating report into the click view document and this can be really helpful in such scenarios where in just few moments you want to provide the report to uh, you know 10 or 15 or say 50 different individuals you just click on this report which you have already built it 
export the report in any of the format you want uh, if you have the plugin installed that's the caveat and uh, distribute the report so this is a very basic report that we have created here but uh, I'll encourage you to go ahead and explore the different options that you have in the uh, report creation window and uh, I will probably post another video to create some more uh, professional reports in future but that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and thanks for watching my video bye bye